Welcome to Queenstown, New Zealand. In this video, we're going to be talking about the top things to do in the adventure capital of New Zealand, from bungee jumping, paragliding, and soaking in some of the best hot tubs in New Zealand. Queenstown is located in the central Otago region in the South Island of New Zealand. Queenstown is full of amazing things to do, so let's dive straight into it. First up, the gondola and luge. The Queenstown Skyline Gondola is the Southern Hemisphere's steepest cable car. It will take you up 450 metres high into the mountains where you get the most epic views over the whole of Queenstown. Once you're at the top, these are some of the best views you will get over Lake Wakatipu and the remarkable mountains. There is a viewing platform where you can soak in all these stunning views which are 360 degrees. Also, there's no need to worry about taking food with you as there's a cafe at the top so you can enjoy your lunch with a view. A return gondola ride will cost you around $46 for an adult and $32 for a child. You can also get combo packages for the gondola and luge together. These prices will vary depending on how many luge rides you would like, but it can range anywhere from $71 to $100. Once you've reached the top of the gondola, you'll also see people flying down a racetrack on tiny black carts. This is called the luge. You'll need to take another small cable car ride to the start of the luge track, where you will get insane views again all the way across Queenstown. This is where you'll hop into small black carts and race downhill with big turns, big drops and lots of tunnels. It's a great place to race your mates to the bottom. This is one of the highlights of the trip and you feel like you're a kid racing like Mario Kart. If you're wanting to do the lose, make sure you buy the package combo as it's much cheaper than paying individually. There are also some age and height restrictions for small children, so be sure to check out the website for more details. The Queenstown Gondola and Luge is a great experience any time and day of the year. Opening times vary depending on what time of year it is, but it's usually open from 9.30 until 6.30pm daily, but make sure to check the website for updated times. Next up, jet boating. The jet boat is ideal for anyone with a need for speed. It's located in the centre of Queenstown down by the waterfront. As you hop on the jet boat, the driver will give you a quick brief and then you'll head off racing over Lake Wakatipu and then down the famous Shotover River. You'll be flying through bridges and skimming along New Zealand's most stunning landscapes with breathtaking views. This jet boat experience is a whole hour of epic thrills with skimming the water at exciting speeds of up to 95 kilometers per hour and the most exciting 360 degree spins all along the Shotover River where you are sure to get soaked. The one hour trip is the ultimate Queenstown jet boating adventure. The highly skilled drivers are a fine blend of personality, skill and professionalism. The boats are driven with twin V8 engines delivering 820 horsepower. With frequent photo opportunities, you'll be spoilt for choice when capturing your own jet boat memories to take home. We went with a company called Go Orange and the price is $99 for an adult or $49 for a child. They provide you with life jackets and an optional waterproof poncho, but I would recommend bringing a spare change of clothes as you do get very wet. Next up, the stunning onsen hot pools. Queenstown is full of adrenaline activities, so here's the perfect place to relax and unwind. The hot tubs are located in Arthur's Point, about a 10 minute drive from the centre of Queenstown. They also offer a complimentary shuttle if you don't have a car. These hot tubs are perched overlooking the Shotover River, which offer breathtaking panoramic views all around you. Hey guys, so welcome to the Onsen Hot Pools. Now this is absolutely beautiful. So this is our private pool for the next hour, and it was $129, but you can see why, because we have this amazing view in the background of the Shotover River, and we've got these beautiful mountains, and it's such a rainy day today, so it's like the perfect thing to do. It is so romantic in here and we got like two things of beers and we got some snacks as well. It is just beautiful and I cannot wait for the next hour of relaxation. <sighs> the onsen hot pools are open from 9am until 11pm daily. 
Each hot tub has their own private pool with a shower, changing room and scenic views of the stunning mountains. Included in the price is also a light snack and drink of your choice while you soak away in these stunning hot pools. They also have alcoholic and non-alcoholic options available. The price is around $145 for a 60 minute slot but this varies depending on how many people you'll be bringing. This is ideal for couples, friends and even families as each hot tub holds up to four people. This is a must do in Queenstown but I would recommend booking as it can be booked out weeks in advance. TSS Urnslaw The TSS Urnslaw is New Zealand's most iconic boat and also goes by the name of Lady of the Lake. The TSS Urnslaw first started its journey in 1912 so it's over 110 years old. As you board the Urnslaw you are greeted by the beautiful interior all around the boat. Welcome to the TSS Urnslaw. So now we are the downstairs saloon. Everything is so beautiful. You can see the quality of everything that is in here. It's just amazing. Once you set sail, you will take the leisurely 90 minute cruise across Lake Wakatipu, showcasing some of Queenstown's spectacular mountains and stunning panoramic views. You can explore this iconic boat from learning about its history to one of the highlights where you can enter the engine room. Inside the engine room you can see all the inside workings of this stunning steamship, including all the coal being loaded and daily maintenance jobs around the engine. They also have live music on board too, which is so peaceful as you enjoy the stunning views around you. So they also have a bar on board as well and someone doing live music, so you can get yourself a drink like this one and enjoy the beautiful view as we sail across Lake Wakatipu. Once you reach the other side of Lake Wakatipu, you'll reach Walter's Peak. There is an option to hop off here and have a buffet lunch and a farm tour, or you can stay on the boat and sail back to Queenstown. This is a great way to see Queenstown and a perfect way to spend a relaxing day. The price for a 90 minute cruise is around $80 for an adult and $40 for a child. Bungee jumping. Hello everyone, we are here. I wait 33 years of my life to be exactly here. That is the first commercial bungee jump in the world and my biggest bucket list. I'm so nervous now. I was really excited but now I'm just nervous <laughs> and I'm gonna jump now. New Zealand is the home of the bungee so if it's been on your bucket list then Queenstown is the place to do it. It's located on State Highway 6 in the Gibson Valley about 20 minute drive from the centre of Queenstown. It's open daily from 9.30am until 4pm. No visit to Queenstown would be complete without a stop at the Kawarau Bungee Centre. This is the world home of bungee, where it all began in 1988. Home of the world's first commercial bungee, I couldn't think of a better place to take the leap off the famous 43 metre high platform. It is still the most popular bungee site, attracting thousands of thrill seekers every year. As you shuffle out to the edge of the platform, heart pounding and mind racing, the staff make it so fun, interacting with you and helping you take the scariest leap of your life. When you jump, what a feeling. The adrenaline you get from after the jump is one of the best feelings I've had. The bungee costs around $220 for one person, but there's also a tandem option available. Even if taking the leap isn't for you, they have a viewing platform where you can take in the stunning views and watch other people take the leap. Next up, Arrowtown. Arrowtown is an old gold mining town about 20 minutes drive from the centre of Queenstown. Arrowtown is built on the banks of the Arrow River, once a rich source of gold. In 1862, thousands of miners from across the world flocked to Arrowtown to make their fortune. Eventually all the miners moved on, but their legacy has become a treasure in its own right, now leaving behind a beautiful small town that attracts hundreds of visitors a day. When you arrive you can stroll up the main street which is lined with old historic cottages and beautiful coloured buildings. One of the most popular things to do in Arrowtown is trying your luck at gold panning. You can go to the visitor centre located in the main street of Arrowtown and get yourself a pan and a shovel. So Arrowtown is pretty much known for gold panning. Now there's lots of gold in Arrowtown or there was back in the day. Now this guy behind me, Jack, he basically found like a massive thing of gold and X marks the spot. So we have gone and got ourselves a gold panning pan and a little shovel and we're going to give 
gold panning a try and hopefully the luck is on our side so it's three dollars to get the pan and you just buy it from basically the information center and it's also the museum and then you need to give like a form of id or a ten dollar deposit as well but i think it's time to go and try our luck and hopefully we're gonna find some gold and then you'll see us next time on a super yacht this is a great activity for any age and you never know you might even strike some gold once you've finished, you can explore all the gold shops, including some of the massive gold nuggets found back in the 1860s. Arrowtown is also known for its food and drink scene, so be sure to check out one of the many cafes and restaurants they have. Other popular activities include hiking and mountain biking. I would recommend spending half a day to a full day here. Next up, paragliding. If you've ever wanted to jump off the side of a mountain with some of the best views of Queenstown, then this one's for you. Paragliding is located at the top of the gondola in Luge, so first you have to make your way up the steepest gondola in the southern hemisphere. Don't worry about the cost of the one-way gondola ride as this is included in your paragliding ticket. Once you arrive at the top, you'll be greeted by the friendly staff where they'll do a few checks and get you all geared up for your instructors to take over. You'll then hop into a dirt buggy taking you to the highest point where you're going to make the giant leap. Once you're all geared up, the instructor will take you through a quick safety chat and then you're ready to go. You'll run as fast as you can off the side of the mountain where you'll take flight, flying high above Queenstown enjoying the ultimate ride with spectacular 360 degree views of Lake Wakatipu, the mountains and all over Queenstown itself. These are some of the best views of Queenstown and what a way to see it. The instructor also tailors the flight to your liking to get the most enjoyable experience. So if you just want a nice leisurely glide to the bottom, you can, or if you want to go a bit more extreme, the instructor will do some spins in circles to get the adrenaline pumping. This for me was a personal highlight. No experience is required as your pilot will guide you through the whole flight. They even have time for a quick selfie and a video of your experience. We went with a company called GeForce and for an adult it costs around $250 per person. I would allow around one to two hours for the whole experience. Now that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed the top things to do in Queenstown. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.